So we left China in the Northern Hemisphere. We're down under in Australia. Bondi Beach, Sydney is just behind me. Um, and we're gonna soak up maybe five to 10 minutes of sun and then we're gonna hit the road. See ya. Wildlife is a big topic here in Australia when it comes to traffic. From small to big, it walks, crawls, hops, behaves differently. It's really hard to predict what, the, what wildlife will do next. So we try to recognize wildlife better in order to then develop strategies how properly we react to those. And that's a big safety concern, obviously, and Australia is a perfect proving ground for that. In Australia, we have very clear signage. We have in typically good markings, especially in intersections. We have lanes in China, especially in Shanghai. We saw big, big, big intersections with no lanes whatsoever. Uh, you just have to follow other traffic or just guess where to go. And of course, a very obvious thing, this is our first country in the intelligent world drive that we are driving on the other side of the road with a left-hand driven car as a test car from Germany on the left side of the road. That's a challenge for us as well. And we don't have that many confusing signs where you don't really know what is meant and for what times it is. We have some specific signs, but they're quite usual, but we're very happy to see them and we expect to see, and we did see already, some uh, signs that we didn't think about. We start to make our Distronic more intelligent with map data. So we brake automatically with the 2018 S-Class in front of curves, in front of bends, in front of uh, roundabouts. And this is also a challenge regarding autonomous driving in future because map data will be the key factor to uh, face that challenge. Today we use the map data in North America, Europe and China and believe me we also want to roll that out here in Australia. And luckily we are here with the Intelligent World Drive and maybe we can go for that. Especially in Melbourne, we have one very specific situation, which is called a hook turn. It's when you turn to the right um, and cross a tram railway, uh, then you have to tr do that from the very left lane. So you have to drive into the intersection, wait for the red light, and then when the intersection is clear, turn right across all the other lanes. So that's very specific, and we only have that and see that in Melbourne worldwide. We have the digital light in there that can not only light up the street, it can also project things onto the street. So one use case we're thinking about is um, warning the driver of obstacles that are reaching into the road that the driver might not be able to see very well. So if the car detects that, it could warn the driver by projecting something onto the road that he is really aware of that obstacle and can drive around it. I actually went to university here in Sydney and I never thought I would come back with such a cool project. Professionally, I'm extremely blown away how well the map-based speed adaptation works. And now we are beyond excited to see what South Africa has to bring. And we'll see you there.